Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Brothers channel and the Jordan 36 has finally been unveiled. Of course, the Jordan 35 was a very, very nice performer and so was the Jordan 34. So the 36, Jason Tatum actually uh, kind of unveiled it today and he played with them and uh, I guess it's officially unveiled kind of because Jordan brand, of course, they would not allow Jason Tatum to actually wear them in a game where people would obviously take photos of the new shoe, right? So I guess it's kind of like a plan leak a little bit, but here is the Jordan 36. We got some uh, on foot pictures. He's kind of like warming up with it. And we have this like purple colorway and the outsole is like a kind of like an infrared color. Actually, it looks very similar to the outsole color on this Jordan 35, right? So as far as the traction goes, we don't have a full on picture of the traction, but we can see a little bit of it here from the side. It looks very, very similar to the Jordan 35 as far as like, it looks like it's just herringbone. The Jordan 35 had really good traction. So did the Jordan 34. I mean, the Jordans usually have, or I guess it, Michael Jordan's signature shoe, usually have very good traction. So it's not a huge deal, but sometimes it's a miss. Like the Jordan 33 wasn't the best, but as you guys all know, Jordan brand, this is their main signature shoe, right? And as far as the price goes, they keep it very, very high end, you know, usually around like 180, 200 bucks even. And uh, they always innovate and put the best tech or try to put their best tech in uh, the shoe, right? So with the Jordan 29, of course, we have this uh, performance woven, which was kind of like ahead of its time, super nice. And of course, with the 33, and then we got the fast fit system. And then with the 34, we got the introduction of the Eclipse plate, right? So uh, as far as the uh, cushioning system goes, it looks very, very similar to the Jordan 35 and the Jordan 34. So it looks to have this Eclipse plate. I love the Eclipse plate as far as the aesthetics go. Functionality wise, I don't think it's like the best, you know, like, I mean, how much weight are you really reducing with this cord out midsole? Maybe, maybe a little bit, it probably does help a little bit, but I don't think it's significant enough to where you actually need the Eclipse plate, but I guess removing as much weight as you can is a good thing, right? Uh, so I'm not saying it's completely useless, but functionality wise, it's probably not the most useful thing. And as far as like the zoom units go, we don't really know what's in here yet. There's really no tech specs yet, but I'm guessing it's probably the same as the Jordan 35. We're probably gonna have a very, very large volume zoom unit here in the forefoot and then a very large volume zoom unit here in the heel. I just wish the foam is a little bit softer, right? So uh, as you guys all know, the Jordan 34 foam was really, really stiff. So uh, here in the heel wasn't very nice. The Jordan 35, they definitely uh, made it a lot softer as far as the foam goes, but still a little stiffer than I would like. But uh, the zoom unit here in the heel definitely does help. So as you guys can see from the heel, the foam is fully exposed. There's really no caging or anything, which is a good thing. So that'll probably allow the foam to compress, you know, so there probably will be a little bit of compression, but we don't know how much, right? So hopefully it's a nice soft phylon, but you know, as you guys know, we don't really know yet. Please Jordan brand uh, use like React or Kushlon at least and stop using phylon, <laughs> you know, especially for the main signature shoe. But anyways, yeah, so the foam looks uh, probably it's probably just like a little phylon and we got the eclipse plate. It looks pretty similar to the Jordan 35, but it, it's also kind of different, right? So if you look at the Jordan 35 and also the Jordan 34, the Eclipse plate is just one little plate, right? So this here on the bottom and here on the top, it's literally just one plastic piece with a hole in it, right? But if you look closely at the Jordan 36, the Eclipse plate looks to be just like underneath your heel, like this black part. And then you have a little bit of that foam and then you have the outsole. And then the outsole, obviously they probably put a very, very thin plastic piece there, but it doesn't seem like it's one piece, you know? So uh, I, I feel like they probably changed the design up a little bit there. So there's that. And also on the midsole, we can see some purple lines. I wonder if that's like plastic. Is that plastic or is that just a design on the foam? I'm guessing it's probably plastic, right? Uh, it looks like plastic. So uh, that'll probably cage uh, the foam a little bit, which kind of sucks. Uh, also for lateral containment, you're good. You know, uh, as you guys can see, the foam comes up in the forefoot as well as in the heel, right? Opposite of the Jordan 35. So the Jordan 35, we had the Eclipse plate coming up here in the midfoot. Uh, but the, what the Jordan 36 does is a little bit better. So all you need for lateral containment is something here in the heel and something here in the forefoot, right? So if you have the forefoot and heel covered for lateral containment, your foot's not gonna go anywhere. Uh, as opposed to if it's just like here in the midfoot. And I guess if the forefoot containment wasn't very good, your forefoot can still slip out of the footbed, 
but um, if you have something here in the forefoot and here, here in the heel, you're good to go, you know? So of course, you're probably not gonna have any issues with that. I mean, Jordan, uh, you never really have any issues with support. You know, support is usually really good in the shoes. Uh, as far as the materials go, we have a very close up look at the materials. So the material looks actually the best that, that it's been uh, in the past couple of years, right? So the 35, I mean, not the best type of material, especially with like the old school materials. The 34, you had a very thin mesh material. I mean, not very quality, but you know, got the job done. And then the 33 had really like not the best mesh, you know? So the 36, it looks to kind of go back to like a, a performance woven, hopefully, you know, it looks like a textile or even like a knit with this purple black woven pattern going throughout this entire upper. We have a little bit of a uh, fuse for extra added durability, probably. And then we have a regular lacing system. It actually looks very similar to the Jordan 34, just kind of like little string for the eyelets. And then we can see there's holes it's very, very similar to the Jordan 34, actually. Very, very interesting. And then the shoe seems to be kind of like a mid or maybe even like a high cut shoe. It actually covers the ankle bone, it looks like, and it comes up pretty high on the ankle. Hopefully it's not too stiff, um, but as you guys can see, there's really nothing here in the back of the shoe that looks like it's kind of poke into your Achilles like the Jordan 35 did for me. Also, another interesting thing is if you kind of follow this black part where the eyelids start from the midfoot and then kind of come back here into the heel, I don't know what this is. You see, you guys see this like plastic thing? It's probably just like a little design there. Um, but as far as the overall aesthetics go, it looks awesome. You know, I mean, Eclipse Plate looks awesome. Like, it just makes the shoe, in my opinion, look so much better. I mean, imagine the Jordan 34 without it. I, I, I feel like it'll look kind of weird. Same thing with the Jordan 35. So the Eclipse Plate makes it look dope. I really like the design. Like this little plastic piece over the cushion, like that purple line. And then the materials and the overall silhouette looks really, really great. So yeah, those are just my thoughts on the Jordan 36. I mean, since Jason Tatum has like kind of unveiled it it should be coming out soon the jordan 35 has been out for quite a while so there's the jordan 36 tell us what you guys think of the aesthetics down in the comment section below and last but not least there's another shoe you know we have the gh3 if you guys care about that gordon hayward was seen playing in the gh3 his third signature shoot with anta and uh looks pretty dope with his black and white colorway the the cushion actually i'm not sure what that is uh it might be a new type of cushion it actually looks uh, like a carbon fiber you know print on on the cushion which is pretty interesting uh, on the lateral side in the heel we can see there is a little plastic piece probably for caging you know so that it's not too unstable there and then also we can see the same thing here in the forefoot as far as the materials go it looks a little disappointing especially comparing it to the two the two had a very very nice textile material the three looks to have like a screen mesh and like a lot of fuse. So I'm not a huge fan of that. And we have kind of like an ankle strap, you know, it kind of wraps around here through the back of the ankle. So that that looks pretty dope. And uh, I, I'm pretty excited for it. You know, the GH line from Anta has been great. But anyways, those are two shoes that have been leaked. Tell us your thoughts on both of them down in the comments section below. And also, what do you guys think the cushioning setup is uh, in the Jordan 36? Probably, like I said, the same as the Jordan 35, but... Um, probably exactly the same, you know, but hopefully the foam's a little bit softer. But anyways, that about wraps it up. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.